every single exercise and obedience starts with the dog in heel position, right? So, and even when you're working on pieces, it's pretty much the beginning of almost every piece you train. Therefore, it's gonna set the tone for what comes next. If the dog is distracted or worried or nervous or stressed or confused, it's going to bleed into the exercise, right? In a negative way, not in a good way. So what we want is when the dog sets up, we want a dog that's engaged, that's focused, that's connected, that knows what's coming next and is ready to go. And that will bleed forward in a positive way. Once I kind of memorize where everything starts, I'm like, okay, chalk mark here, tape there, stanchion is the where I'm gonna line my dog up there. I go back to my chair and I just run it through my head a couple of times so it's memorized. And then when I'm in the ring, I know where I'm going and I don't have to disconnect from my dog. You're also going to learn, have to learn how to maintain connection while looking at the environment with peripheral vision, right? So again, that starts in training. I'm going to practice an approach from this direction, all right? Then we're going to practice an approach from the other direction. You can see he came in a little hot there on the, going around, he's a little wild. All right, then we're going to practice. Doing like a left U turn. We do not want to pair the judge with negative feelings. So we want to mark and release way, way, way before the dog makes a mistake. Okay? We're not trying to make the dog fail over and over. We want to tell the dog they're correct before they make a mistake.